And we're back to Planescape Torment. Ah, where these guys are playing dice, it seems. Interesting. We were about to decide whether we should uh, go straight back into the um, catacombs or not. I think we need to find a stash. We're carrying too much crap around. We're carrying way too much crap around. Uh, I was thinking maybe Angyar's house? And we still haven't found the damn stash. If that was it, maybe that was it. And we already found it uh, when we first got here. Uh, anywho, yeah, I think we need to find a stash. Maybe the Dustman Bar? We should talk to Feyrod. I'm gone. Mm, yeah. The thing is, we don't really know what items might be portal keys, because, well, just any old random item might be one. So we'll want to keep one copy of each random item, like a rag or something. And uh, like we do with the uh, junk. But... All right. I think we're safe. I think we're safe leaving most things behind. Probably. Hopefully. I'll probably uh, miss a lot of thrust. <laughs> Just uh, afraid of not being able to carry anything. But we were losing uh, good stuff uh, down at the catacombs. Ah, oh, come on, don't be like that, uh, Morte. I don't trust him. I don't trust him. Maybe at Ankyars? Maybe the Gathering Dust. Done. Let's see if there's any uh, containers around here. It's a nice central location just in front of Angyar's house. Public, so... Yeah, maybe one of these. Done. Maybe the last isolated uh, barrel back here. Let's leave keys behind. I'm not sure we need those. Uh, we need that. Probably not. What's up? Good is done. Mortuary task list, mortuary reminder. Probably don't need any of that. Hands note. And up where Feyrod is getting the bodies. Yes, yes, yes. Dustman request. The receiving log. With Feyrod's entries, Strahan's... Oh uh, yeah, with the um, crazy necromancer. Contracted, can leave that behind. Cobblestone a skull. We still have to fight... Oh, I think I know.
I think I just figured out there's this zombie in the dead nations that wanted food. And the only food that we uh, found, well, potential food, was maybe the rat tails we killed in the corridor? Because usually these quests are self-contained within the space they have to be completed in, of course. That's probably it. Um, okay, so we should go back there. Endure, your will be done. So we can leave this Soego's call. Pretty sure we're not gonna need it. Um, the Canter of Endless Water. Hmm? Do we need two? Probably not. So, uh, hmm. how much crap can I get rid of? Let's bring flask and get two strength. We haven't really used any of these charms. We probably could use more of these. Uh, Scroll of Axe Torment. The axe will strike. Hmm. Eh. Maybe we should sell this. Two different types of charm. Elysium's Tears. I'm not sure what that does exactly, but yeah. I think we only need the one chunk. Do we need a tome? Probably not. We can leave this behind, I think. Still don't know what this is, what Black Sphere does. Uh, I think we can probably also leave that behind. Bronze Sphere we do need. Our intestines are <laughs> kind of... I'm kind of sentimental about keeping... <laughs> about keeping uh, our intestines on us. Uh, and our arm. So, yeah, let's get rid of these three. Do we want... I guess we can save these up uh, over there. Uh, Testament robes. We, uh, I don't think we need to disguise ourselves. Cobblestone. The skull. Yeah, let's keep what we want to save up. With uh, Duck Con. Got slashing, crushing, and piercing. So we can sell this. We want to sell this. Well, we want to keep a weapon if we get more companions. Which we should be able to at some point, right? All right, so. All right. Keep this behind, keep that behind. And we have a lot more inventory space. All of uh, Mortes. About two-thirds of ours, and slightly less than half, yeah, about a third of guns. Okay, that feels better, being able to pick up stuff. Right, so... Discover the weakness of the Silent King. Yeah, we haven't managed... To do that. Um, lucky knife, yeah, that's why we need to talk to the zombie to get the knife out of his gut. Uh, the, get the bronze sphere. 
and requins. Yeah, that we need to go to the upper words. Talk to Mara about the box. Oh yeah, the merchant. Uh, that's right. I'm gone. I'm gone. What's oh, this guy? All right. Hmm. I completely forgot where Mar is. Uh That might be an issue. Uh Oh well. I have no idea. I completely forgot. Who's Mar? The wizard or wizardress or witch rather uh, was uh Hmm. I have no idea. I'm gone. Yeah, Mara's the guy that gave us the box. Um, right. Uh, so that guy was uh, the northwestern portion, I think. I'm gone. I think so. Mar was beside the uh, flop house or something. All right. He was around here somewhere. I think. But he uh, ran away. If I remember correctly, yeah, I think so. Okay, well, we might catch up to him uh, at some point. Done. So, let's talk to Feyrod once and for all, now that we have the Bronze Sphere. And see what he does then. I don't trust him at all. Not for one bit. I'm gone. Yes, 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 you are. Come along, come along. Speed through the caves like a bunch of lunatics. We are significantly faster than Dakon. for a time. Okay. I'm gone. Feyrod, Feyrod. Feyrod, Feyrod on the wall. Who's the nastiest of them all? Oh, 
Let's quickly save the game, shall we? Done. There we are, the old man. I think his decrepit appearance is um, a front. Ah, uh, corpse! Feyre turns as you approach, his crutch clacking on the cobbles of the court. He licks his lips and smiles expectantly. Have you brought me what I asked for? Some questions. Then ask! Feyre smacks his crutch on the cobbles as if passing sentence. Come, 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 corpse! Time's short and so is my patience. Mm hmm. You said something about taking me on a jaunt to the mortuary. Tell me, corpse, perhaps the dusties that live there are more to your liking than sweet bosomed wench. Bayard taps his crutch on the floor, the clacking echoing through the court. Yes, we've uh, established the clacking. Thank you, writing staff. Uh, you found one word you liked, uh, liked and uh, just abused it to uh, high heaven. Most forgiving of the dusties to try to let you stride in and out of here. There, as you please, considering you don't have the decency to say in the dead book. Well, yes, but why did I want to get in? You were so bent to get in there, now you spill that... You don't even know why you wanted it in the first place. Yeah, I'm stuck in a loop. Sometimes it's a wonder why the planes turn. Well, yes, 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 no questions. We have the sphere, here it is. Peyrod's eyes gleam as you hand him the bronze sphere. He touches it gingerly, almost reverently. You, a <laughs> corpse. Such a gamble you were, and paid off handsomely you have. Yoda! Long time no see. Peyrod studies his reflection in the sphere and tisks. The years have been cruel to me, I see. You don't have a mirror? I did what you asked, Feyrod, and now I want some answers. Feyrod doesn't even look at you as you speak. His attention is swallowed by the sphere he holds. Oh, my precious, yes, yes, ask your questions. Feyrod turns the sphere in his hands. Very important, your questions, my precious. Yeah, I can see where they uh, modeled this guy after. I might have added in a few precious in there. But, yeah, who's noticing uh, that? What do you know about me, and why was I told to seek you out? Feyrod studies you with a critical eye. Stay your weapons for what I'm about to say, corpse. But it could be your ears will take offense. Feyrod smiles wickedly. My ears no longer care, but yours are still fresh for the burning, it seems. You have my word, they'll sell my hand. You uh, tell me what I need. You have fulfilled uh, your vow, and so will I. But I need to know what you know. The truth! You can't handle the truth! Feyrod turns, turns softens, as if cajoling. The truth was stretched a bit from my mind to my tongue when we first spoke. So you're lying. Right. Corpse, in all terrible honesty, I know little about you. He raises a withered finger. Yet, hear me out. Yes? You're a cutter who plays at being dead, as I see. Feyrod squints at you. Some time ago, you came to me, like you are now, but not. Just strolled right into Illwind Court and said you wanted an audience with me. An audience? Aye, an audience! What? The applause sign hasn't turned on for the audience? Oh, there's no audience, right. Peyrod chuckles, like whispering sand, like I was royalty. He seems amused, but there's an edge in his voice. You knew the right things to say you did. Oh, yes. You spoke the chant like a governor. Boon untrue, and I listened. What did the, uh, I want from you? Feyrod gives a mock bow, his crutch creaking as he leans against it. Yeah, it creaks and it clacks. That's very creative. 
Oh, Feyrod, great collector king, you say is. You says. I have come before you to request a boon. You says. So the narrator also has an. A Cockney accent? What? <laughs> I come before you to request a boon. A boon, I says. Yeah, the narrator has a Cockney accent. What could I offer a man uh, of such obvious... Uh... Oh, all oh, right. Uh, I understand. He is a uh, stupid me. He's telling us what we said. What could I offer a man of such obvious strength? Go on. Feyrod wags his crooked finger, and you asked for a strange thing, you says. Lord Feyrod, I ask for courtesy. Your collectors run throughout the hive. If they should find my body, I want it kept safe. That is all I ask. A simple boon. I see. Is that all you know? Hmm. There's nothing to be gained from it for you. Why did you even agree to it? Herod falls silent for a moment. A dead man can keep no promises, and promises to a dead man are easy enough to make, corpse. You're a merchant, Feyrod. Not a Samaritan. There must have been another reason. Well, actually... Uh, not a Samaritan. Not a good Samaritan. The expression uh, the Hebrews used as a good Samaritan was essentially because they were so xenophobic and terrible people overall uh, that they considered Samaritans barely human and uh, worthy of uh, respect. And so it was a rare thing for such a thing as a good Samaritan to exist. That's why the expression was born. So... Your merchant fair, not a Samaritan, essentially reads like your merchant fair, not a cock sucking bastard. Uh, okay. I'm not I'm sure that's not what the writer meant to say. Not a good Samaritan. There must have been another reason. Aye! Feyron's face suddenly peels back in fury, his skin flushing red. Ah, if I had strung up a score of my blood on the hive walls to die, I had enough reason to promise to the planes themselves. Then your butchering self comes to my home, my kip, to demand a boon of me. Feyrod calms himself, though his face is still flushed. Aye, I agreed. I'm sorry about your people, Feyrod. That wasn't me, but I forgot. Can... Ah, really? Huh. If I can make up the loss to you, I will. Alright. Feyrod tisks. No matter, the bodies served me well enough. The dusties pay the same for fresh debtors as for old. Always the profit seeker. Is that the only reason you agreed to my request? You knew things about me. Things only I knew. You knew I was greedy for something beneath sigil. And you put a name and picture to it. The bronze sphere, you said. I didn't think you would fetch it for me, he chuckles. Yet did you, I, the planes, turn in strange ways. Okay, yes, you've said that. And that's all you know, then. All I know? Nay. But it's all I know about you, corpse. Fine. Next question. What did you take off my body after I died? Ah, uh, yes, don't play coy. Feyrod licks his lips. Why, I took nothing, corpse. Yes, very, very coy. His face splits in a grin. Then I wasn't the one that found your body. Okay, I'll play your game. Who did? Feyrod's smile widens, pulling the nasty, the pasty, not the nasty. Well, they're nasty, but the pasty folds of flesh back from his face like a curtain. That's a strange way of describing a smile. But there you go. My daughter, the rose of my eye, the sweetest of my family, and the sharpest wit of them all. He licks his dry lips. Oh, he licks his dry lips all the time. And sighs in mock sadness, such a cruel tongue on her. Your daughter, who? Updated my journal. My darling girl, Anna. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling. She found you, dead as a debtor can be. In a place where most collectors wouldn't go for a mountain of coppers. 
Could be uh, she plucked something off you. Could be not. Our journal. He leans in, shaking his head. You'll have to ask her, for it's not uh, Hadar's place to say. Hmm. Don't lie, Feyrod. All that grin and uh, lip uh, licking and uh, cane clacking. You're a merchant, and you always take a cut from your workers. What did Anna give you from my body? Ah, uh, yes, my tribute. Feyrod folds his withered hands over his crutch, almost protectively. Is that ours? Is that a bone? There's no telling what was from you or not, corpse. Most like there was nothing. Feyrod, my patience is at an end. If you don't hand over what was stolen from me, I will see it to the dustman. Know where to find you. Feyrod is silent for a moment. He taps his fingers against his crutch. Slowly. Yes, it's the crutch. Is that a part of our body? Well... Where has the decency of a man gone? Feyrod grumbles, shaking his head. A courtesy I made doing for you, corpse. Such a courtesy. Feyrod parting with anything. It'd be the dead book for me if anyone heard. Wait here. Move not a yard. I shall return. Updated my journal. After a long while, Feyrod returns, his crutch clacking. Okay, it's clacking again. Against the flagstones. In his hands, he holds a number of items, which he passes off to you. You will be silent on this and accept the blessing that I have remembered. That I even remembered. Right. A few hundred coppers, a scrap of paper, bandages, and a ring. Very well. Now, who was it that found me again? My darling Anna, yes. Anna, I'll ask her. Where is she? Where's Anna? Playing coy again. Oh my god, this dead old man. Feyrod shrugs. She's hiding in the shadows here. I expect listening to us trade the chant. I called for her after you went below. Had to ask her if you were really in the dead book when she found you or not. He chuckles dryly, then takes a deep breath and calls out to the darkness. Anna! Stop mithering in those shadows and come greet our guest. She's here. In knowing the teachings of Zerthamon, I have become stronger. Oh, Dakon has made a level. And here comes, uh... Oh, my darling, oh, my darling. Slithering tail and, uh, catty walk. Oh, what? No. Ah! She's also Scottish. You turn to see a striking red-haired girl dressed in leather armor. Didn't even hear her enter the chamber. Yeah, she walks like a feline. Her right arm is covered with a series of interlocking plates that look as if they were taken from the skin of some creature, and a horned shoulder piece protects her left arm. Oddly enough, she has a tail that is flicking back and forth as you watch. Hmm. Okay, well, she has some sort of uh, lorica segmentata made of animal. Your Anna! I met you in the hive at the mortuary, correct? The girl ignores you and turns to Feyrod. What's this about then? I'm not playing the leash pull with this scarred dog, so I'm not. Get one of your other gullies to do it. Anna, rose of my eye, I have not taught you to respect the dead. A thin smile worms across Feyrod's face, and he mugs... Really? Worms across Feyrod's face like a... Like a wave? Like a stadium... Like a stadium audience wave? I'm not sure how that's supposed to be a... 
imagined, and he makes a slight bow towards you. This resourceful corpse needs to know where you found him. Eh? What are you on about? She squinted at you. He's not a deader. Ah, yes, my mistake. Ferrot nods, then his voice drops dangerously. Yet, my darling Anna! Is that a dangerous drop? Not sure. That still makes it your mistake! For this one only had one foot in the dead book when you brought him to me. He taps his crutch against the flagstones with a light tap. He loves that for some reason. He woke up, sought me out. Most embarrassing! So, Anna glances at you, then shrugs. He shouldn't be playing dead on the hive while I'm about. Or he'll wake up in the Dusty's arms, you will. Maybe. Maybe you could have checked to see if I was alive before ducking me off there. Oh, aye, and maybe you should have been more careful and maybe you wouldn't have been lying face down and sewn still on the alley cobbles like a dead or I. Maybe I should show your filthy corpse pirate hide what it's like to be lying down. Okay, enough of this. Where did you find my body? Show him where you found his body, Anna. Feyrod taps his blah, blah, blah. Take him to the haunted alley. Hmm. Feyrod studies Anna for a moment, then grins and turns to you. If you happen to lose my darling Anna on the way to the alley corpse, you come back and see Feyrod. I'll guide you. That's creepy. Updated my journal. Chech! Anna sneers at Feyrod and then throws a glance at you. Come on, then. And keep your steps quick, Jig. I have little time to waste on the likes of you. Hmm. Yeah, actually, I'm not done exploring the buried village yet. Let's head to the site where I died after I'm done here. Oh, I well, then. You can sniff out your grave on a euro and rage it. I'm not wait. Anna? Anna! Fedor's voice is quiet, but it cuts through the girl's speech like a knife. Be his minder. See that he comes to no harm while in the village. Then guide him to where he wishes to go. Yeah. <laughs> Anna spits on the ground. Pox in your birth. <laughs> I don't know what accent that is, but uh, it's her accent. That's what I was thinking. Now let's go. Oh well. Oh well, oh well, oh well. What am I going to do with Anna? What indeed. Let's see what we've got here. 38 life points, so it's not... She's not the... Oh, yes! A thief. Thief, thief, thief. Oh my, thief, 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 thief. Thief, thief, thief. Thief, 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 We were looking for a thief for so long. And now we've got one of our own. Oh, lovely thief. Lovely, lovely, lovely thief. Is any of this useful to a thief? Use the charms, get the earring in. Oh, she has... Okay. Open lock skill bonus, right. Perhaps the idea that Anna would wear anything slowly for ornamental value makes you suspicious of these earrings. Upon closer examination, you discover these thin metal earrings are actually serious well-crafted lockpicks. Ah, yeah. Interesting. If need be, you can unhook them and use them to pick open stubborn locks. Oh... Anna's vest is similar to leather armor, but it seems more flexible and allows a greater freedom of movement and be, yeah, quiet. You're not certain that what creature's hide, if any, was used to make the vest. It might be people skin, but it seems durable enough. Three straps help secure the front, one for each boob, one for the, uh, uh, -uh. and a staggered series of braces run up the left arm if necessary. Hannah, or Anna, can slip her punch daggers and the braces to conceal them. Oh, she has punch daggers. Anna's common weapons are a pair of jagged dagger blades on mounted on iron knuckles. They don't seem very good. They're relatively small size, allows them to be concealed quickly when a guard 
patrol makes a certain appearance. Right, I think we've got better. Ah, this can only be used by... Uh, oh yeah, so... Because uh, she's not dead. Well, not dead like us. Right. Right, right, right. Uh, let's see. What are... Hmm. Very dexterous. Free League. In depths are individually blood, so have batted together. Hmm. To protect us from other factions. Truth? There is no truth! Just live free or die! I imagine that's how she would have said it. So, she has... She's level 4. We are... Well, already uh, a couple of levels beyond her. What's her biography? Hey, now what are you, want... <laughs> are you wanting to know about me for? Ah, uh, you're just bored. Not some grand tale, it isn't. Uh, so if you're expecting some epic, you'd best go rattle your burn box at someone else, Jake. Well, uh, I can't hold that for very long, so I've seen the way you look at me tail. <coughs> yes, your tail. But I'll keep your eyes to yourself, then I'll tell you where it came from. It's a blessing from my granddad, or my grandma, whichever of them was the fiend. Oh, she's a tiefling, so I am. But just enough of the demon blood in me to sprout this tail at my back. Mm-hmm. Right. That to me after passing me uh, through on it, blah blah blah. Fade out me dad, huh? Old stutter crutch isn't me dad, not my real one anyway. He just fostered me. He did drag me out of the hive, blah blah blah. Don't get him wrong by thinking he had some kind of bone in his body. He wasn't shedding no tear for me being an orphan. He just needed someone to help him scarp debtors off the streets. And I'm small enough so I can get into places his other boys can't. Plus, most of the gullies in his back are wee boys of the fear in them. So I end up finding most of the debtors in places that's too a scared to look. The dusties pay a nice bit of copper for the debtors I bring him, and Feyre don't take so much off the top that leaves me a beggar. So it's not so bad, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Travel together, don't be flapping your bone box and locking eyes with everything you meet. Well, that's exactly what I'm going to do, so... Uh, that's a short street to trouble it is, and don't be a taking no names in vain. Yeah, no names. Don't be thinking you can treat me like a cobblestone. You start doing that and I'll take these blades and carve you, I will. Me blades? Ah, these dags are mine. I like these punch dags. I do. You can keep our axes and hammers and clubs. These dags are more my style, blah, blah, blah. Yes, I know. In fact, um... Hmm... We might give her this. Uh, 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 uh. We got this ring. Shunted hammer. 2 9 crusher. 2 9 slashing. Thacko 1. That is enchanted. So let's keep the, the hammer. Let's give the punch daggers of Morin to. Uh, Oh yeah, Anna here. That'll uh, do her some good. AC2, that's pretty good. Uh oh. Our AC isn't. We need an armor. Hmm. We need to find some armor for ourselves. Maybe we should use our own arm. Why not? Enchanted and Thacko. Well, we don't have the Thacko bonus, but F plus two crushing damage. So that's something. Um, can you identify this? No. Uh, okay, so we'll uh, go somewhere to identify it shortly. For the time being, let's uh, level up Dakcon, shall we? 
Oh, spell memorization never increased. Two hit points, plus one. Some saving throws. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. So, how many... Oh, one more. So, let's see. We've got Chromatic Orb, Anger, Scripture of Steel, Fist of Iron, uh, Have Identify, Vilgar's Eye, is branded upon the one who's foolish enough to cross the caster. Target creature fails, struck with blindness. Mm. Globe of Force that protects the caster. Uh, that seems pretty good. Armor class of 6, cumulative with dexterity. Hmm, but nothing else. I think shield is better. Maybe another chromatic orb. Have to damage. This protects everyone. And... Yeah, this also gives protection. Hmm. We don't need to identify things on the fly, I don't think. Shield? Ah! I'm gonna have ball lightning. Finally, level 3 spells. Uh, do you have... no. Okay. I think we're done. So she can carry 120, 170, 90, and 70. That's fine, that's fine. So I think we should... Oh, actually... Hmm. Uh... Our wisdom is average, yeah, because we have the charisma bonus. Uh... We we'll still need to find out what the dead king is up to. Talk to Mar about the box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, apparently my body was found in an alleyway in the section of the hive near the smoldering corpse bar. But there is a tenement full of chaos man that lies between me and it. Okay, I see where that's going. Uh, <laughs> I see where that is going and I don't like it. Don't like it one bit. We have a lot of coppers. A lot of coppers. A lot, a lot of coppers. <laughs> Hmm. I think we should go down to the uh, Dead Nations, find out what uh, the Silent King is all about, and I think done. Get rat tails. I think it was rat tails. The zombie uh, would have what wanted to eat. I think. If my um, if my uh, theory is correct, so I'm not sure it would be. Uh, we can test it out quite shortly, though. So we'll go down to the Dead Nations, uh, see for the Red Tails. How we're going to see the Silent King? I have no idea. Uh. Or maybe just lie to the... to many as one? That might not be a good idea. You know, it wouldn't kill you to say a few words to me, Fiendling. Or hug me. Or kiss me. Yeah, Morte is trying to get a bit too friendly. Hmm, yeah. So I think we're gonna do that and then go find our... Well, where she found our body. But all of that is going to be next time. Till then.